gratitude, الشكر. ولئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم. And if you are thankful, if you show gratefulness, if you have gratitude, I will increase you. Subhanallah, shukr is a very, very powerful motivating factor in my life and your life. It's one of the things that is supposed to bring us closer to Allah, galvanize and strengthen our relationship and our worship with Him, and protect us from the meanderings of our soul that seeks to lead us into the subul, the pathways that lead away from a sirat al-mustaqim. Shukr is beginning to acknowledge that Allah is the one who has total omnipotence and power in everything that occurs in His creation. Why are you thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not just simply because you want more, although that will be a byproduct. لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you are thankful, I will increase you, put barakah in what you have. That's not what you're seeking. You're seeking to thank Allah because He is worthy of the praise. He is worthy of alhamd. He is worthy of al thana. And the word alhamdulillah in praise and celebration of Allah is one of the elements of shukr. Shukr is of three important steps. The shukr of the heart is recognizing that what you have of good is from Allah. And what you have missed out of good is by the decision and the wisdom of Allah. Is that your heart does not mourn or regret something that did not happen or something that befell you in a way that makes you distant from Allah. Shukr is to recognize that the power of change is not just within you but in that which Allah compels and allows you to perform. The second is that you use whatever blessings that you have in that which is pleasing to Allah and you limit them in that which is displeasing to Allah. So the thankfulness of the eyes is using it in that which is expected of it. And the thankfulness for the sight that you have is to limit it from the haram that has been prohibited upon it. The thankfulness for the movement of your body is in fulfillment of your salah. And that's why our prayers are not just in our heart or whispered with our tongues. There is a physical manifestation of bowing and making ruku and sujood. Subhanallah, how many Muslims Muslims in certain points in their life as they mature in age are not able to bow down and make the sujood that they used to in their times of youth and good wealth, wealth and health that they mourn the days that they may have missed a prayer. And the third level of shukr is that you speak of your thankfulness to Allah towards others by sharing it in that regard. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us at the end of Surah Al-Duha وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ Therefore celebrate the glory of that which you have been graced with by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How do I celebrate it? By using it in the betterment of myself and others, that the wealth that I have, its zakah is paid, its sadaqah is fulfilled, the energy that I have is not just in that which is frivolous or sport, but that which is also building up and assistance of others. All three levels of shukr are an instrumental factor in us remaining distant from al-kufr. Kufr is, begins with ingratitude, recognizing other than Allah, including our own selves as being the reason for our success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who have shukr and are distant from al-kufr. Allahumma ameen.